And yes, there I am. <laughs> Hi, it's Saturday. My plan of getting up and getting stuck into my my washing pile and cleaning hasn't happened. It's cold. The sun is out, so it's not as cold as it normally is. Like right now it is 13 degrees, which is just under 60 Fahrenheit. Now that I know that I can tell both temperatures, um, it feels a little colder because I've just been sitting here doing nothing, just looking around on Facebook and book and, and chatting with friends on there because I'm parked in my little Wi-Fi hotspot here, <coughs> which has been great and also a curse because I stay parked here a little longer than I probably should. Not that anyone's given me any any hassles here and like tomorrow I'll definitely move the van because I'm parked out front of a church and so I like to get out so people that go to church can have the car spot um, so and down the road there's construction there is mountains behind there still a bit of snow on the top which is really pretty but I should get out and about but I'm just little anxious today I'm just snapping myself out of a bit of a funk that I've been in for a few weeks and so yeah I think maybe I'll I'll have something for lunch and pop some music on and start tackling the van I've got my washing to do I've got to give it a good sweep out I've got to find a bin to dump my rubbish like just like my food stuff I really need to find better food to eat I'm just eating like tin food and packaged food and so I end up with so much rubbish just from that I need to eat fresh it's just hard because I want warm stuff so I always go for the soups and baked beans and stuff like that as the weather warms up I'll, it'll be fine because I'll be able to eat more salads and stuff and I'll, I don't think I've got any like fruit and veg reusable bags so I might just make some um, so then I can not use any plastic and stuff and I won't have so much garbage it's just empty packaging like, like put it in like even the salads and stuff that I have brought it's all in those hard shell packages and that's mostly because I don't have a way to clean stuff because I ripped everything out of here and thought I'd be able to replace a bunch of stuff but I found out my capabilities aren't that that extensive so but I'm still happy with what I've done I, I still love my van I just need to get up and, and do some more stuff um, so yeah just chilling today maybe in the afternoon I will attack that because every time I look at it, it sh I shiver. It's just all my clothes just get chucked up at the back there. And I have brought so many clothes I really need to go through and get rid of a bunch of stuff again because I'm like tripping over things all the time. I don't like it. Okay so oh yeah I wanted to say a hi back to um, this new guy that I've been watching and subscribe to shoot shoot oh nomadic drifter I think that might be right anyway um, he's parked at a lake it was really really nice and should do some fishing videos because I would love to watch those because it's a better view than what I have um, I would travel on the weekends and stuff that was my plan was I'd stay close to work through the week and then on the weekends and stuff go and find places to hike and explore and, and stuff like that but the weather hasn't permitted and then even though it's a nice day today I've got shit that I need to do and also my van's not that reliable every time I get something fixed two other things go wrong so and at the moment my speedometer isn't working 
and I keep, I'm trying to, I go in and I chat, there's lots of mechanics around and I go in and chat, some just will not work on such an old car, others, the way they talk to me, it's like, I just know, they just see dollar signs, because they see a girl and think, oh, we can rip her off, and I know not everyone's like that, but you can just get a vibe, and a lot of them, the ones that um, I feel are talking to me like a human are the ones that don't have the the, the gear to be able to work on an old car. So <laughs> that kind of sucks. It's like, like these dudes are nice, <laughs> but they, they can't do it because they don't have a lift or I need to find a place that's got a pit so they can just drive the van on and work from there. I really need to get an oil change. Uh, this van would be fine for someone that's mechanically minded. So when it comes time for me to get a new van, I'd like to find someone that would love to put some work into it. Because she's fine, she's solid. There was a couple rust spots at the back where the water tank was, but I fixed that up. And the floors are easy to, to lift up and, and just check that everything's A-OK -okay there. Like, there's no rust. Like, oh, only couple that I'll have to go out over after... Um, winter is done that I might have missed treating like around the doors and stuff but there's just like surface rust it's not not eating in van rust and I hear the motor is pretty good there's just it's mostly the wiring stuff that keeps messing up so like when my windscreen wipers were broken apparently that was just wiring and they fixed that up but then my fans only turn on Every now and then they'll just cut in and out whenever they want since that got fixed. And then when my battery got, my battery connection got fixed, my speedometer stopped working. So I'm, it just seems to be all that. It runs, she runs really well. She does need a tune up, like, like I said, an oil change and stuff like that because she's a little smelly at the moment. So I just need to look after her well enough so that um, the next person that has her doesn't have any issues like that but I can't put in all the the money that I need and would need to continually up upkeep her for, for the travelling that I want to do so it'd be fine if I knew how to work on her I'd have no qualms and fix her on the side of the road and everything but I don't have that skill set so I need to save up for her a van that can get fixed basically anywhere that's kind of what I was looking at at this one fair enough it's an RV and bigger but there's a lot more seems to be a lot more places that can fix RVs than there are that can fix a 1985 Dodge so could just be the area I'm in anyway I'm dribbling totally of course I wanted to say hi and just give you a boring update of what I'm not doing today um, but I'm also just trying to get in the habit of posting videos more often and trying to get comfortable back in the in front of the camera and getting used to the new camera because um, like I said I've been in a bit of a funk well most of winter and that's just the winter blues I don't don't like this time of year and it seems to be extremely long here in Canada <laughs> It's just like forever, um, and it doesn't really help either. I'm in Vancouver, which is even when it's not winter, there's a lot of rain here. So, if it wasn't for my job, I would be on the road. Or oh, if it wasn't for my job and my kind of inability to fix an old van, but yeah, I need to find a job or work towards getting a job that I can do on the road. A friend I was chatting to earlier said I should get into um, some form of computer stuff but I don't know she's over in the States so that might be a little different to sorry get itchy um anyway I'm going off track yet again I'm going to leave it there Thanks for watching and putting up with my dribbles and I thank you for your patience until I get back into interesting stuff for the channel again. Um, I do still have those ideas that I mentioned a while back of 
being able to post more regular, then that's not just me dribbling about what I'm not doing. Um, and I've got my computer. I finally brought a computer that I did that for, but I have a million of excuses and they're all lame, so I will get there. I'm just revving myself up. Okay, take care, be good, live your dreams and all that jazz because it's pretty awesome, even on the bad days. Alrighty, ciao.